Hi, it's Wraith Mobs from Sydney, Australia. This video is on the technique and workflow of the L5 S1 ALIF. The patient is a 43 year old female who presents with multiple recurrent disc herniation, radiculopathy and low back pain. There are multiple techniques for performing lumbar interbody fusion, however the L5 S1 level is particularly suitable for the anterior Approach given the efficient vascular access. For an L5 S1 exposure we prefer a transverse incision whilst marking the midline to get better positioning for the linear alba. Dissection through the skin and soft tissues is performed using diathermy and a superior and inferior flap is raised to give us our vertical exposure. The linear alba is divided with diathermy and tissue forceps are used to help retract the left sided rectus muscle to enable the retroperitoneal plane to be entered. Blunt dissection is used for this part of the procedure. The inferior epigastric vessels are visualised, preserved and retracted anteriorly. The main structure we visualise is the psoas muscle and genitofemoral nerve and as we dissect out the vessels we can then put in the retractor system using a low profile narrow blades. The iliac artery and vein is exposed, the median sacral vessel is double clipped and divided and blunt dissection is used using peanut dissexes over the anterior disc space. An incision spanning the full exposure of the anterior aspect of the L5 S1 disc is performed. Using a cob elevator, the plane between the bony and cartilaginous end plate is developed. Disc material is removed piecemeal using a pituitary rongeur. An insert and rotate distractor provides elevation of the disc height for efficient disc removal. This figure reveals the position of the iliac vessels in relation to the disc space. The bone graft is prepared on the back table, in this case allograft and BMP. A trial prosthesis is inserted. An x-ray is performed to confirm depth, position and lordosis. The appropriate implant is chosen and packed with bone graft ready for implantation. tapped into position as per the trial prosthesis. And all is used for the pilot holes, then final screw fixation performed. The retractor blades are removed and the peritoneum returns to its position. with a heavy PDS, then followed by the subcutaneous layers and finally skin. At three months post-surgery, the mini fenon steel incision has acceptable cosmesis. Thanks for watching from the Neurospine Clinic and the NSURG Research Group at the University of New South Wales. Sydney, Australia. Bye.